Hi, I'm Neil Bezodis, one of the biomechanists here at Swansea. Um, I'm a member of the Elite Professional Sport Research Group here. What I'm going to do just for the next couple of minutes is just talk to you a little bit about some of my research, which um, a big part of it has been in understanding the mechanics of rugby kicking over the last few years. We spent quite a bit of time understanding um, place kicking because nearly half of all the points in international rugby union have been shown to come from place kicks. So we spent time in the lab with lots of kickers, understanding their, um, their movements in quite precise detail using our motion capture system. We can measure them in 3D. And we can understand the forces that are acting on their bodies so that we can ultimately then build a picture of their techniques, identify the common features of technique which are associated with high levels of success in kicking performance, but also at an individual level. What are some of the individual features of technique for a certain kicker which are important to them. We've extended this on with some more advanced modelling where we look at kind of individual muscle tendon unit structures as well. And I'll touch on that a little bit more in a moment when we've looked at this from more of an injury perspective. As you can see in the video at the bottom there, we've also looked at some work outside of the pitch where we're manipulating the ball angle on the tee to understand how different tee setups um, interact with the player's technique and ultimately affect performance. And another more recent project has been looking at um, the effect of ultimately what's going on in the game. Where on the pitch are they kicking from, the time in the match, the scoreline, and how all these different factors interact to influence a kicker's um, success rate. Now, importantly, it's not just goal kicking that's important um, for, um, for match play in rugby union. And also we can't just consider performance, we've also got to consider the injury implications of, of different, different kicking techniques as well. And we've been fortunate enough in recent years to um, partner with the Scarlets down here and do some work looking at different kicking techniques and also to go back and do some of that modelling of the muscle tendon units within the kicking leg to try and understand some of the biomechanical risk factors that might be at play between different kicking styles and for different kickers. So that's just a whistle-stop tour of, of some of my research. Um, hopefully it's given you a bit of a, an overview of some of the stuff I do here, but please do get in touch if you want to find out more.